What crashed the market was the securitization of mortgages, that grouping together of mortgages in tranches, right? And selling them on Wall, bundling and selling them on Wall Street. So we were taking every mortgage that existed in the country and it was becoming three financial products. It was the mortgage itself. It was the bundle of loans that it was in. It was the tranche of loans that it was in. And it was the insurance on that bundle of loans. Whenever the default rates got high on any of those places, it would trigger uh, a default, not just of that loan, it would trigger a default of the tranche because too many loans in that particular tranche went bad. And then the insurance would kick in and it caused absolute mayhem and disaster. But if those loans had not been securitized, and think about it for a second. Okay, the default rate uh, the default and all of that triggering happened when the default rate went above 3%, right? Okay. Well, if you lent a hundred people money and three of them defaulted, right? So you lent a hundred people money for mortgages, three people defaulted. You would simply take those three houses back through the foreclosure process and then sell those houses to someone else right? Not a big old deal. However, if those hundred houses were part of three different securitized instruments and payouts had to come from all of those things just because three um, mortgages went bad, it causes absolute financial disaster.